What do we have here? Yeah, here I thought we were special. Fellas, this here's Bagman. Hangman. Whatever. What the hell kind of mission is this? You might have heard that Timothy Chalamet wants to join the Top Gun squad for Top Gun 3, but honestly, he shouldn't be in the movie, even with his obvious obsession with Maverick. There are a few things we need to see in Tom Cruise's sequel after the huge success of Maverick, like a brand new story for Maverick, or more familiar faces from the original Top Gun. Some of you might even want to see Top Gun Maverick's new pilots get more screen time in the third film, but Timothy Chalamet? <laughs> Not so much. I know some of you might disagree, but stick around and we'll explain why. So without further ado, let's dive into everything we know about the upcoming plot for Top Gun 3 and more. As we all know, Top Gun 3 was pretty much a given after Tom Cruise's epic return in Top Gun Maverick. Now, the future of the franchise and the third movie is starting to take shape. 36 years after the original Top Gun became a huge hit, Tom Cruise stepped back into his iconic role as Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell in Maverick. The film reignited fans' love for the character, and the call for Top Gun 3 was immediate. In Maverick, we saw Captain Mitchell back in Fighter Town, USA, training a new generation of pilots who claimed to be the best of the best. With stunning aerial shots and a nod to the original film, Maverick brought Pete Mitchell into the modern era with a bang. The movie was a massive success, raking in $1.4 billion worldwide and becoming one of the biggest hits of 2022. Even so, Top Gun 3 didn't get rushed into production, and it's only in 2024 that we're starting to get some real updates. Top Gun Maverick didn't explicitly set up a third movie, but it didn't have to for a sequel to work. In Top Gun 3, we can expect a new mission that brings Maverick and the other pilots back into action. The specifics of the mission will be less important than how it develops their characters. One potential storyline is that Maverick could take on Admiral Kane's plan to replace human pilots with drone armadas. This would create the perfect opportunity for Maverick and his team to show that human skill still surpasses machine efficiency. Adding to the excitement, a Top Gun reunion could make the story even better. Since many of the original crew didn't return for Top Gun Maverick, a battle against drones could set the stage for a reunion of the original fighter pilot team. This would be a great way to pay tribute to the original film and show that human pilots are still the best. It'll be interesting to see how this drone versus human pilot conflict plays out in Top Gun 3. With Top Gun 3 still hanging in the balance, Glenn Powell recently dropped an intriguing hint about the sequel. During his appearance on the Happy Sad Confused podcast, the actor who plays Hangman cryptically mentioned, I have a date. Working as a team, you have to shoot me down or else. Or else what, sir? Or else I shoot back. If I shoot either one of you down, you both lose. This guy needs an ego check. While he didn't elaborate, this suggests that he might have a production start date on his calendar. When pressed for more details about Top Gun 3, Powell shut down the conversation with the firm, absolutely not. Speculation about the sequel has been high, especially after Maverick became a massive box office success. Although Top Gun 3 wasn't officially confirmed until January 2024, the announcement came with the exciting news that Tom Cruise would be back as Pete Maverick Mitchell, signaling that the sequel is indeed on the horizon. On the other hand, Timothy Chalamet's love for Top Gun Maverick is well documented. We think Top Gun 3 should steer clear of casting him, despite his obsession. Chalamet, the star of Dune and Wonka, has made no secret of his admiration for the film, calling it his favorite movie of 2022 and one of the greatest films he's ever seen. He's seen it at least 12 times, even dragging his Dune Part 2 castmates to watch it, and he shared this admiration with Tom Cruise himself. This mutual respect between Chalamet and Cruise could easily lead to the temptation to bring him into the fold for Top Gun 3. Tom Cruise has a history of working with actors he sees potential in, like expanding Glenn Powell's role in Top Gun Maverick after a strong audition. It wouldn't be surprising if Cruise and Paramount thought about adding Chalamet to the cast, given his rising star power and the success of his previous films. However, while having Chalamet in Top Gun 3 might sound appealing, it could make the movie feel overcrowded. Top Gun 3 is already expected to bring back Tom Cruise's Maverick, Miles Teller's Rooster, and Glenn Powell's Hangman. Balancing these major characters and continuing their stories is crucial, especially as one of them might be poised to take over as the franchise's lead. 
Adding Chalamet into the mix, likely in a significant role, could mean sacrificing screen time for Rooster or Hangman, which would disrupt the story's balance. While Chalamet has shown he can take on smaller roles, it's hard to imagine he'd be brought into Top Gun 3 for just a cameo. That's why we think it's better for the sequel to resist the temptation of casting him, allowing Chalamet to remain a superfan rather than becoming part of the cast. On the flip side, while Maverick was a fantastic film, it did leave a lot of original characters behind, which is something Top Gun 3 should definitely address. In Maverick, we only saw a handful of characters from the original movie make a return. Maverick, Penny, Iceman, and Carol. That leaves a whole roster of pilots like Charlie, Jester, and Wolfman who haven't been heard from since the first film. Bringing some of them back for Top Gun 3 could be a great way to continue their stories and give fans a sense of closure or new developments. At the same time, Top Gun Maverick introduced a bunch of new characters that Top Gun 3 really needs to flesh out. We know that Rooster and Hangman are coming back, so it'll be great to see more development for them. But what about characters like Phoenix, Bob, and Payback? The third movie could delve deeper into their stories, giving them the attention they didn't fully get in Maverick. Smoke in the air! Rooster flares! Uh that was close! <laughs> While it's important to pay homage to the original film by bringing back familiar faces, Top Gun 3 also needs to introduce a fresh batch of fighter pilots. The Top Gun program is all about training young, inexperienced pilots, so if Top Gun 3 only focuses on the graduates from the second film, it risks missing a key element of what makes the franchise tick. That said, we also have to face the reality that Top Gun 3 needs an actual villain. Both Top Gun films have delivered fantastic conflicts, but neither has featured a true villain. Sure, Iceman and Hangman were antagonistic at times, but their conflicts were resolved well before the climaxes of their respective films. The real enemies were faceless soldiers from unspecified foreign countries. For Top Gun 3, it would be interesting to see the introduction of an actual villain who remains a consistent threat throughout the movie, whether that's a member of the Top Gun program, the leader of a foreign nation, or some other adversary. Adding a clear antagonist could raise the stakes and add a new layer of tension to the story. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. Also, do you think Timothy Chalamet would be a good fit for Top Gun 3, or should the film focus more on bringing back original characters and developing the new pilots from Maverick? Let us know your thoughts. Okay. <laughs>